It's been a long time, Internet, but I'm Colorful Artie, and I'm back for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Game Boy Advance. I have not been neglecting this series on purpose, but rather, I'm trying to get my Lemmings series done before this since I started this after Lemmings, and I, as it just so happens, I can get through a larger chunk of Donkey Kong Country in one episode than I can of Lemmings. So, and that coupled with the fact that I didn't make any videos on Spring Break is kind of why you haven't seen an episode of this in a while. But that's going to change, because we're on level 3 of the Gorilla Glacier, Cractopus Chase. Another underwater level. And normally you'd uh, do Ice Age Alley next, but... I don't know, they decided to put Cractopus Chase first, even though it may be a harder level. Harder level. So these are Squidgies, and wow, they've got a bigger hitbox than I thought. They move around in unpredictable patterns, which is kind of annoying. And these... Okay, well now that's just kind of mean. I'm not as familiar with this level as I am with the other levels, I will say. Also, I'm on the lookout for the K. I can't remember where all the calm letters are. I do know the O is extremely easy to miss, though. So yeah, the Croctopuses chase you on this level, as the name implies. So that's kind of annoying. And you also have to watch out for these jellyfish that move by. Whoa! Hi, Croctopus. Okay, never mind. It, I don't, is it even possible to miss that K, I wonder? <laughs> I don't know how Diddy warped into that barrel, but I'm not gonna argue. Okay, I don't want to miss the O. I can't remember exactly where it is, though. Well, I might as well let the Croctopus move by me, so that way I can take my time now. Where is that pesky O? Oh, it's this way. Yeah, because you can swim through that wall, and boom, hidden alcove. It's very difficult to reach that. Or rather, it's difficult to find that. <sighs> Man, I am off my Donkey Kong Country game. The key to swimming fast is holding the B button and holding the direction you want to swim in. Oh shoot! Ugh. I thought Unguard was through that wall. Nope, that's later. Yeah, good luck out swimming that Croctopus if you're not holding the swim button or this like the run button. Whoa! What the? I did not know about this until just now. I feel like I skipped something, though. Okay. Wow, I'm learning new stuff about this game all the time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I missed something. <laughs> like this way... Yeah, alright. So, you can actually swim underneath this barrel cannon. Go for this little alcove, and there are a ton of croctopuses. And there's also a picture. Alright. Yeah, I honestly did not know about that secret passageway I took. And I avoided the unguard token on purpose because I don't want any more unguard bonuses. They just take too long. And they basically make you warp backwards in the level, and that's never fun. <laughs> what riveting commentary. Oh, that's pretty, uh... <laughs> that's pretty harrowing right there. Swimming through those two sh uh, chops are not as easy as you might think. I think Unguard is up here. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, okay. I like it when they have like these fin walls that indicate you need to swim through them. That's that's a bit more fair in my opinion. Hi, Unguard. <laughs> he can kill sharks. Now that's boss. And man, Unguard is a lot faster than I remember. Out of my way, Squidgies. Alright. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but none of the underwater levels have bonus barrels or bonus rooms at all. So you just have to focus on spelling calm. And holy cow, that is a long path that was made. Oh boy, candy again. Hi there, do you want to try out my dance studio? Just jump in the barrel to the end. 
Come on, let's dance. I can't wait to see what you do to the splits. Look at that crystal clear graphics, and now we're pushing L and R as well. Catchy music, though. Oh yeah. I actually do like this music. I don't think that's enough to get the second photo. Cool, you sure know how to hit the moves. Here you go, take this. Well, I've maxed out my lives at least. Hey, Cranky. Sure looks like I'm Mr. Popular today, yes siree. Games never looked like this when I was a swinging lad. On Snow Barrel Blast, down isn't always out. Dance with candy to win many prizes. Shut the gate on your way out, I didn't raise you in a barn. Cranky's a bit nicer in this than he is in other games. Mainly Donkey Kong 64. Before we do Ice and Jolly, let's take a look at the photos we have. That's what we got on Croctopus Chase. And then unless I'm mistaken, all we got was the candy photo. Still, it's fun to go over all the photos you've taken. We're getting there, just two songs left. Oh, so I say Jally, go backwards at the beginning. Whoa, watch out for the barrel that you are forced to pick up though. And you get Espresso. You're gonna wanna keep Espresso alive for as long as you can. Which means don't really touch any enemies. Okay, it's a bonus barrel there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back up there, get off of Espresso. Yeah. Oh, come on, Donkey Kong. Oh, come on, Diddy Kong. Because we're gonna get another Espresso in this bonus barrel. Hi ho, Espresso away! You can kind of clip for the mini neckies, but not always, so that's kind of risky. Oh, that's just mean. Alright. I'm gonna have to do it. Oh! I hate the little mini neckies. Yeah, this level isn't too hard unless you're trying to spell calm, in which case... Actually, and get all the bonus barrels, I suppose. Really expressive, you can't even jump on anyone. Crud. Kamikaze! Oh yeah, alright. Let's try this yet again. I like how fast Espresso is. That's really nice. Alright, yeah. Clip for the top of the mini necky. Good, Espresso is still there. Roll jump to get the O, and off we go. This is dangerous, because now that we've got the checkpoint, if we lose Espresso, then goodbye. Love the music here, though. Fall down here to get a picture, and now jump and fly as fast as you can, 
and yeah, the end is up on this invisible platform, along with the bonus barrel. And by invisible platform, I mean you can't see that platform unless you're already up there. And Donkey Kong gives us the double thumbs up. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can keep Expresso alive for the whole level. That would be pretty awesome. Booyah! <laughs> I actually moved faster than the camera could keep up. And that, unfortunately, is the last snow level we get in the game. Oh, but we get to go fishing. Looking good, Calms! Built up! Blast off! You're out of sight! Squinting time! Right, mate! This time you must catch as many squidgies as you can within the time limit. I reckon 50 ought to be no problem! Get going! Reckon catches zero squidgies. So this is the level where the crab tends to show up for the most part. Also, there are squidgies everywhere. <gasps> the crab! No! No! I swear I hooked that crab. Aw. Um, oh, he's back. Yep, because we caught that crab, now Funky will give us his own picture. And on this stage, you actually do want to try to combo as many as you can, because when you combo, time freezes for a bit. This is also the only level where you, uh, actually can't lose time by catching the wrong thing. Mainly because it's physically impossible to catch the wrong thing. This is one of the tougher funky missions, I'd say. Just because you have to catch so many of them. Yeah, like squidgies are ugly. Alright, we made it. Yes, you know how to fish. Yes, you really, really do. Yes, you really know how to fish. Well done, dude! Cool fishing, and you caught that pesky crab! Here, take these as a reward. Camera, camera, two lives. Thanks, Funky, for the two lives. So we got, actually, free pictures to show off now. So that's Funky Calm. That's the one we got by falling down the pit on Ice Age Alley. And now... Hey, hey, we actually get a picture of two people in that Funky Calm picture. Excellent. Next up is not Torchlight Trouble, which is what would be in the Super Annie's version. It's Rope Bridge Rumble, which is another treehouse level. Booyah. And you can see there's a tiny little bonus barrel down there. Boing, boing, boing. And of course it wouldn't be a bouncy tire level without our good friend Winky the Frog. Sorry, sorry Winky, but I still like Frogger better. Now, if memory serves, if you go backwards, there's a camera up there. No, Winky! Ah, the level's a lot easier with Winky. But man, this level just has awesome music. I love it so much. I also love the uh, art style of it, how it's nice and frozen. However, there are not ice physics on this level, which is nice. I love these treehouse levels, just because you can... Go so fast on them. <laughs> nice going, Diddy Calm. I'm gonna pretend like that uh, never happened. I love the hearing the Kremlin's like, Meh. It's pretty funny. Alright, this is where the level gets a bit tricky. <laughs> Ooh, 
This is also where it really helps to have Winky still alive, because since he can jump on these heads. Diddy Kong? How in the world did you pick that up? I was standing in front of it. And he, like, grabbed it by, like, telekinesis or something? I don't know how that works. I also like how in the GBA version, the levitating DK Buddy Barrels don't break if you touch them. So if I wanted, I could go back and still pick it up. Alright, this is gonna be tough. Yeah! That can be a tricky jump to make. I don't want any animal tokens. Oh, yeah. You know, Cranky Kong can jump over Freezeners without a tire. Alright, what awesome picture do we get today? <laughs> okay, uh, from what I can see in the picture, it's kind of bad resolution, but it looks like DK and Diddy are, like, working for the Kremlin, and he's like, yeah, put those barrels over there, and they're like, oh, okay. Like, is that actually what it is? Either way, I like it. Onward to Torchlight Trouble, where it's dark, and all we have are squawks and our backlit screen to illuminate us. And, if we slap that guy, we get a picture. You can slap any one of them, and you get a picture. In the Super NES version, you'd, uh, it was a lot darker. Mainly the reason that they made it lighter in this version is because they kind of assumed not having a backlit screen would uh, make it dark enough as is. But, you know, when you're playing this on a screen that has a backlight, it's very easy to beat this level without squawks. And also, on this level, you are forced to take squawks with you, whereas in the Super NES version, you actually had to break squawks open. And there's a bonus barrel this way. Yeah. I'm gonna try to keep my lives maxed out. These are mincers. Instant death if you touch them. And great, I don't have Donkey Kong to deal with these Crusha. Yeah, you don't want to touch the mincers. Okay, hang on. Alright, I've spelled KO. Oh, we didn't get to hear them like, Pucha! Alright. Where is- oh, there's the end. I'm like, where is the end? I feel like I should have gotten it by now. Alright. Bring the barrel down here, and booyah! Bonus barrel. And the G is actually inside the bonus barrel. Kinda interesting. How long do you- Get the G. What? What in the world? Can only Donkey Kong get the G? Because you're supposed to be able to jump high enough to get that. Oh, oh, I see. You can jump on top of the cave. It's actually solid. All right. And jump at the exit to get another picture. Man, we got quite a few on that level. So, yep, there's the clump. Ugh. I just realized that that's like a really pixelated picture of him, like, Ugh, with like a creepy smile on his face. Ugh, that's gonna haunt my nightmares. That's the squawks picture we got at the very end of the level. Actually, wait, that was it. Alright, now, now I think we got time to do the boss level. Really naughty rampage. Hey guys, it's very naughty, except now he jumps higher and he makes the ceiling crumble, which is something he did not do in the Subranius version. He's also blue. And he laughs at you. So he's a bit tougher than very naughty. He's still easy, though. Oh, wait, he's already dead? Alright, Donkey- I will admit, Donkey Kong Country doesn't have terribly hard bosses until the second game. 
Are my old eyes playing tricks? I'm sure I've seen that beaver before. Where could it have been? Oh yeah, World 1, that was weeks ago. Grab the banana and give it to me. Head down the mountain to the factory. All right, we have go- Uh-oh. That's not good. We didn't 100% that world? We missed a bonus barrel on Snow Barrel Blast? Really? I'm trying to remember which- Oh, That's right, we missed a bonus barrel on Snow Barrel Blast. Well, I guess I know what we're doing on the next episode of Donkey Kong uh, Country GBA, so I'm Color Party. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. And uh, if you tune into the next episode, we'll be, I guess, going back to the Gorilla Glacier to uh, complete it 100%. And then we'll be going to Crumb Croc Industries Incorporated, which is the next world. So have a great day, and God bless. Thank you.